Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I thought we would dive right into all of the luxury items that I think don't get a lot of attention, that deserve more. I have done two of these videos in the past and they have been focused on things that were not so crazy expensive, that were um, drugstore, like $10 and less. That's not this video. We're just going like full princess and we are diving into some more expensive things, but they are things that are so good, that are worth a look if you want to splurge on yourself. It's nice to have those items that do have better ingredients, that oftentimes are milled better in terms of like powders, shadows, what have you. Um, pigments are usually a little bit different. You know, there is a little bit of a level up with cosmetics when you're talking about luxury versus drugstore. Does it mean the drugstore makeup sucks? No. It does not, my friends, because some of my very favorites are from the drugstore, regardless of what they are, you know, like that L'Oreal foundation. Oh my gosh, I can't live without it. You know, my Collab Beauty mascara, wearing it right now. So let's just go ahead and dive on in. I do wanna let you guys know that I have a more budget-friendly, kind of best of the best, best under 10 coming soon. Thumbs up this video if you would like to see the other one. Make sure you're subscribed and ring my bell so you are notified of my upcoming uploads. I'm here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, I have a big, there you are. I am not doing an iPhone giveaway. I'm gonna keep saying this until the issue gets handled. I know YouTube is working on it. It's a whole thing. It's happening to a lot of top creators. So just wanted to give you another PSA. It's not me. That's not me. All right, let's dive in. I have found this new on Me Radical Setting Mist. This is a long-lasting makeup plus hydration mist and the ingredients in here are incredible. The level of glycerin and the way that it just really just Mm, just like gets that moisture on the skin and does a similar thing to MAC Fix Plus, but I think even better. I've really been toying back and forth on which one I like more. I've been reaching for this one a ton. So if you're someone that really likes MAC Fix Plus, but maybe you want some extra indulgence in terms of ingredients and hydration, then this would be something interesting to check out. It's tough to find a setting spray that will really get rid of that powder look on the face, add a little hydration, make your makeup look better, last better, and you know, MAC Fix Plus has always been that one for me, and the All Nighter, those are like my two. This is kind of just barged its way in, and I really, really love it so much. So this is like a surprise new fave, and I'm hard on the setting sprays, you guys know that. This, oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know why I didn't try this before. I just was kind of scared of it. I basically just stared at this item for a really long time. Finally, one day I had crunchy, crunchy concealer underneath my eyes and I was like, you know what? I need a good touch up, but I don't want to rip my makeup off. I don't want to put liquid over powder. Like that is the no-no. That is like a quick way to get cake face. Who wants that? Not me, not you, none of us. But I went ahead and I was just like, let me take a leap of faith. Let's see if it works. And you guys, this is the most incredible thing. I need this in every purse. I love this. I'm obsessed with it. It is so good. If you have crunchy makeup and we have all been there, okay? You look in the mirror and you're like, ooh, patchy, ooh, lines, you know, like, and you need something to fix it. This will fix it. There's just something in the consistency and the way it's kind of dewy, the way it dries down, it just works and I am hooked. It comes in a few different shades. I have only used this um, when foundation has broken apart and underneath my eyes. I have never used this as like a spot concealer or anything like that. So it really is just a retouch product, but man oh man, it is so freaking good. I can't even stand it. Oh, I have one other thing that is luxury to the max for underneath the eyes. And this is something that I picked up when I was in Seattle. And I remember in the back of my head watching Lisa Lisa D1 and she was someone that I watched way back when. I'm gonna go ahead and link her channel below. She is the coolest, sweetest, and she has great recommendations recommendations. So she had recommended a long while back this product and it just stuck with me and it was kind of on this mental list of things to purchase and try. I finally did it and I am so in love with it. Oh my gosh. Now it has this weird kind of wand right here where do you see how it kind of draws really thin? What you can do if you have kind of purplish areas right here and they have different ones that will color correct different issues that you might have. So it's not just this shade. I just really like the peachy shade to kind of cancel out darkness underneath my eye. So if you just go right like here, pat it out and then put your concealer on top, 
it just maximizes the coverage that you will get from your concealer. And then in essence, you don't have to use as much. So for me, I really love this, especially because I have been leaning more into natural makeup. And when I do that, I don't like to go as hard and heavy with the concealer and the powder and the full coverage. So something like this is really handy if you are someone that wants to be concealed, covered, and have that flawless look, but you don't want to look like you have the full glam heaviness. Ooh, this matches. <gasps> it's post-it note green. This is called glow stick and this is the very best neon I have ever worn in my life. This color, I never thought that I could wear, but I've been so attracted to this color. It's kind of having a moment and I'm all about neon right now. And when I wore it, just like with a black turtleneck or black blazer, it looked so cool. So if you're looking for like the very best, most vibrant neon ever, the shade Glow Stick from Orly is awesome. I would recommend painting your nails white underneath any neon. It'll just make them a little bit more punchy. And then I also love the shade Blazing Sunset. This is glowy, but more subdued natural glow. This is the shade Afterglow. So these three are just, ooh, so good. Um, I surprisingly love these. I picked up two of these from Tom Ford. This is their new lip lacquer, and it's kind of a hybrid liquid lip slash gloss because you put it on and it is so juicy and wet, especially the darker shades. They are just like lacquered, and you do need to be a bit careful with them. They're beautiful, but they're very wet, shiny. You wanna make sure you line your lips. The lighter shade is my favorite. It's what I'm wearing right now. This is the shade Universal Appeal. I agree with that. It is just like an everyday, you know, one and done out the door. I wore this over and over and over when I was on my trip and I was literally like moving moving house with my dad. I'm um, just running quick errands with friends and not wanting to be over the top glam, but still have a little color, little something and like no lip liner, no nothing. You can put this on fast and it looks beautiful. It wears beautifully. It does not crunch off, crack off. I think it is incredible. I'm actually wearing a gloss on top of the pink today just because I'm wearing the shade Cupcake from Glow Skin Beauty. This is a beautiful gloss. Ugh, yummy. This was not intended to be in this video, but why not? What the heck? Um, I also wanna share with you guys, Kevin Aquan came out with these beautiful little eye sets. Now at first glance, they look very chunky and a little bit obnoxious, but I love the fact that you get a cream shadow in here and the way that this is set up makes so much sense. You can do your makeup so quickly. I am wearing actually all the shades today. So I started out with this one right here. It's just kind of a medium matte brown. I then went into the deeper one right on the outer edge. It almost blends itself. It is so easy to work with these shadows. They are stunning. I then went in with this shade right here to kind of smooth out that outer edge. Took this one right here and just went all over the lid. And I was being so lazy, like so lazy. I really just used like two brushes. It was fast as can be. I took the white cream shade right underneath the brow bone and kind of tucked it right under here to give my eyes a little bit of a lift. And then I took the star of the show this cream shadow that is to die for. It's so good. It dries down perfectly. No crunch, no bunch. It brightens everything right up and just brings the whole look to life. I am obsessed. They have many different colors to choose from as well. I also wanna share with you guys a highlighter that at first try, I did not like, but I'm really happy that I put this back in my drawer and I gave it another go. This is from Pure and it almost feels creamy and wet, but it's not. It is a powder and it is blinding. It is so intense, you guys. I love this just right here, pat, 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 pat. Oh, it's so pretty, so dewy. I've been wearing this underneath the Fenty highlight, how many carats? And the combo is just like this glowy, dewy, gorgeous, juicy type of a thing. And I cannot get enough of it. Honorable mention for this one right here because I have now purchased, I wanna say five of these on my own. This is from Fenty. This is called the Diamond Balm and it's how many carats? Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love, love, love. I went over to my older sister, Larissa's, and she's like, what's on your cheek? 
And I'm like, Fenty. She was like, you know, you gave me the puff puff one in a past PR. She came in when she was visiting. She's like, oh, this is pretty. I love it. And she's like, it's not enough. I need more. And I'm like, oh, we are like branching out. Like that was like a gateway highlighter. Um, She, you know, is a mom and she's running here, there, everywhere. And, and you know, my kind of makeup is not her kind of makeup, but she appreciates the highlight. She loves it. And so I took it out of my purse and I was like, take it. You're now a member of the club. And it's kind of how I feel with everybody that compliments that highlighter. I have this thing where I'm like, please, you need this. Um, so I keep purchasing more and more. It's my favorite, but I do like putting it on top of something else that's a little bit glowy where it can just kind of amplify and make it even better. It's the sprinkles on top. It really, really is. And then I did also use today, just, I'm just gonna throw it in the mix. The Bronzing Act Matte Bronzer in Light, also from Pure. So good, loving the formulation on those so much. Let's talk about brushes. So Scott Barnes, he uh, does JLo's makeup frequently among other celebrities. He has a signature look that's very glowy. <laughs> Glowy and hoey. That's what he said one time. I went over to his place and he's like, oh, you look so glowy and hoey. And I'm like, is that what we're calling it? He's really funny. He's so funny. Um, mega talented, understands color theory, blending, structure of the face. So these brushes are designed in a way that makes so much sense. They are just the absolute best for application if you want a perfect blend. I feel like everything on my face has elevated as far as blending is concerned since I started using these brushes. They're expensive, but they're worth it. You know, you can get a beautiful blend from something from the drugstore. Don't get me wrong. You don't have to have these to have nice makeup, but if you can budget them and even just like grab a couple, they're so worth it. This one in particular right here, this is the number 64. I use this underneath my eye to kick off bake. I will use this to contour because it has just the right kind of tuck right here. I will even go like this for bronzer and blush. It's so versatile, so soft. This one right here for all over powder works so nicely, also for bronzer. And then I have that other one that I wish I had in front of me to show you guys. It is the perfect crease brush. There was never a better crease brush in all of history. This. <laughs> Best brush I've ever used in my entire life. And um, I need to call Scott Barnes and have him on my channel to talk about his new brushes because oh my God, I'm blown away. I know. I know that's a lot to say, but it's just the truth and I'm not sponsored. There's no benefit for me to say all of that. It's just a good brush. What else do we have over here? <sighs> My legs are falling asleep so bad, you guys. I decided to wear my favorite shoes while filming. Okay, moving on. We also have this right here. Ooh. <gasps> Look at the color, like, oh my gosh, I'm a mermaid. This is the texturizing finisher, plush volume for fine to medium hair. That's me. Um, this is what my hairstylist, Rick Henry, shout out to Rick Henry, I'm gonna link him below. Oh, he's so good with hair, oh my gosh. Like, I don't even know why. Like, he just, an updo or like just a little cut, extensions, just everything, he is brilliant. He does Katy Perry's hair and it was just like a sequence of events that I got him to do my hair and then I kept having him do my hair and then for the Kiwi event, he did that like really stunning updo and he used so much of this and I was like, what did you put in my hair? I love that. And the next time I saw him, he gave this to me and he's like, it's so good. You can use this, you know, for updos to add texture. You can use it to add body in the hair. It's so, so nice. You'll love it. And I have just not been able to get enough of this. I moved over from dry bar triple sec to this guy right here. It just gives you enough of a zhuzh and texture without making the hair like powdery, itchy, greasy, any of that. Just if you need an instant like, ooh, kind of volume moment. Another item from Joyco is the Thermal Protection Spray. This I've been using for a couple of years. And if I ever curl my hair, flatten my hair, anything with mega heat, I love using this because you use it on dry hair. It's very interesting. You don't just put a cream in wet hair, blow dry, and that's it. So you can actually, I'll show you, even though I'm not doing anything with my hair right now, it comes out kind of just like hairspray, right? And then you can go through and you're not going to fry up your hair as much as you would 
without it. So this is in so many celebrity stylists bags. Like this is like, everybody loves this product. It's been recommended to me so many times. I have a few more things to share with you guys. I have a Natasha Denona Black is Black Matte Shadow. I use this for liner. I use this for smoky eye. I use this to set a liquid liner. You can get so much mileage out of this product. It will intensify other products you already have and add depth. But really, if you are looking for something that is ink, black that you wanna line your eyes with. This is it, it's so good. If you don't have something like this in your makeup collection, you should, you know, to conceal um, glue on a lash band, to make sure any of your more smudgy products don't smudge. If you set it with a powder, similar to how you would set your powder on top of a concealer underneath the eye, same kind of an idea with this, but with your eyeliner, such a great tip and such a beautiful, rich product. I love it so, so much. I also wanna shout out this palette right here from NARS. I have been reaching for a ton. I mentioned over on IG stories that I was contouring with this shade right here today. I've used this shade right here underneath my eyes before to brighten up, but this is just a very versatile, cool and warm tone palette. Lots of gorgeous colors in here. They blend nicely. This is a newer one from NARS and I just have not been able to get enough of it. So I wanted to share this one with you guys. And do I have any more fun goodies for you? I think I have one more and it is from Jouer. I am back in this one big time. This is their Essential Lip Enhancer. And it's so funny because I was on the Allure set um, when I shot with them way, way, way back when for the Beauty Blogger Awards. And I had this in my purse and I kept putting it on. And the makeup artists were so curious and they're like, what is that? What is that? And I'm like, it's Jouer. And they're like, I haven't heard of that brand. And I'm like, they're kind of on the up and up. They're, you know, still a little bit new. And they loved this so much that they used it on a bunch of the models and uh, one of the makeup artists Artist, she's like, I'm buying that right now. It's so nice. It's just making, you know, the lips look so natural, but hydrated. And it just is one of those products that works and you kind of don't understand why it works so well, but you just go with it because it's fantastic. And that's what this is. And I'm back in it. I just, I think it's great. It's conditioning lip treatment, but also just a really pretty gloss and shine. So if you put it on top of something, it's going to look really nice too. And that's where we're ending it. Oh my gosh. Go check out halobeauty.com and ring the bell. Um, I always want to remind you guys of uh, the progress and the amazing things happening with Halo. I have so many before and afters over on the Halo Beauty IG. I'm going to be including stories and whatnot over on my snap and the story continues and it continues to be incredible and we have really, really cool things right around the corner. So be sure um, that you're, you know, staying in touch and checking up on all of that. Please ring my bell. I sound desperate, but I'm not. I just really don't want you guys to miss any of the incredible upcoming videos that I have in store. I have so much going on. I cannot wait. You guys, this has been just like the best year so far and I'm loving it. I'm loving the videos that I'm making. I'm loving the comments and the feedback that you guys are giving and it's just awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this roundup. Be sure to stay tuned because I will have an under 10 roundup coming at you very, very soon. So. Hang tight, ring that bell. I love you so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.